Hi you guys, um, I just wanted to share my opinion on something because I was, like the other day, um, I was with some friends and some friends of my friends and one of the girls had started complaining, like we, I don't even know how we got the conversation there, but she had started complaining because, well, we all hung out because I was with my friend, her friend called her, so we were just like, oh, okay, we'll go over to your house because she was feeling, you know, a little bad about um, her boyfriend who had cheated on her. And so we went over and then like, she says hi, we're all hanging out for like a little bit, you know, like we're trying to like, to console her. It's not like she's crying or anything and she, she was um, like, this happened a while back. She was just like remembering it, you know, because she had forgave him and she started going out with him again. And she was just like, ah, uh -uh, fat people are whores. I'm like, whoa, whoa, hold on, hold on. I mean, I'm not skinny. I'm, I'm you know, like, I'm, I'm not skinny. I'm a big girl. Like, I mean, what do you mean fat girls are whores? Like, oh, I'm sorry, can I even say that on YouTube? I'm sorry. Or like, I don't know, have like harlots or whatever. Sure. Because they're not. Buddy, I think, I think, um, no matter if you're skinny or you're big, we're all different, you know, like, everyone can be slutty, boys are, boys can be slutty, I think, just everyone, you can't just say that one type of, like, people or whatever are that way, you can't, like, it's like me saying, oh, skinny people, all, like, all skinny girls are whores. No, that, that's not true. Everyone has morals. It just depends who you are. If, I mean, either way, like, that's their life, you know? If that's what they want to do, like, I mean, that's their life. Worry about your own life. And she, and then I asked her, I was like, why do you say that? She said, because since big girls can't have boyfriends or get anyone, so they become easy, and, sorry, I have all these, like, swatches on there, they're not, I'm like, I'm not sick, it's just lipstick, um, they're all easy because they can't get a boyfriend because no one likes them, so they're easy to sleep with, and that's why they're slutty, and you know it's true, and da da da, -da. and I was just like, whoa, what? No, no, I think that happens for a lot of girls, you know, a guy, or a girl, like, they can come up to someone, and you can, you can, you can butter someone up, you know, there's a lot of skinny girls that feel ugly, there's a lot of big girls that feel ugly, and everyone feels ugly sometimes, everyone feels beautiful, you know, like, everyone has something that they don't like about themselves, or, like, a love-hate relationship with something on their body, or something about them, so, it's just, you know, like, it's, it's everyone, it's not specific people, and it, it just kind of makes me feel bad, because you have so much anger towards some type of people, so now, like, ever since that, when she said that, she's just been, like, seeing, like, she sees big girls outside, and she starts to, like, you know, make comments, like, rude comments, you know, and it's just, like, it's unnecessary, you ha it's like, if a dog bit me, because it was angry, or like it was just a really mean little dog, I'm not going to hate all little dogs because that was just that one dog. It's, you know, it's not the whole animal kingdom there. It's ridiculous to me. And the fact that, I'm pretty sure, like, girls, personally, we or I'll just speak for myself because everyone is different. So, personally, if someone was to say nice things and kind of butter me up, like, it makes me feel soft and it makes me feel like, oh. Like, you can, someone can always come into your life and make you feel like they care, but in reality, they have a secret agenda and they do not care. Believe me, I've gone through that. It does not make you easy. It just, you were just tricked, honestly. And sometimes, you're not strong enough to just be like, no. I mean, that hasn't happened to me, like, you know, 
the buttering me up yeah that's happened to me and it's not true big girls are not all easy skin girls are not all easy no it's just you can find one in every group it doesn't matter um also i've been getting a lot of text messages from people at like late hours of the night talking about oh let's hang out but let's hang out like you know on the weekend at like 11 40 or 12 o'clock like that's a booty call first of all you're texting me at two in the morning to hang out at like practically midnight the next day like what is that i'm sorry no i'm not desperate that's no no we deserve respect everyone every girl everyone every guy everyone deserves respect you give respect you receive respect but well in some cases you're not always going to receive respect but it's better to give respect because that means that you are above the childless childness and like i'm sorry i'm like sorry i feel nervous and i'm just like angry at the same time you know it's just it's not nice like and i really just dislike the fact that she said that so i kind of i told her i was like look you know i'm a big girl myself i'm not gonna go and do that like i'm not i don't have millions of people sleep with me it's that's not me whoever did that that's just maybe the way they are May you never know what if they didn't know you had a boyfriend and she was like or he had a girlfriend and then she was like oh no she did i know her and i was like oh okay well i mean that girl just doesn't care and she just likes her boyfriend because sometimes it's not because the girl wants to get back at the other girl or she's just really a whore or anything it's sometimes because the guy might you know like make her believe something totally different from reality you know girls are players boys are players too so maybe he sweet talked her you know you don't know you're not her maybe she's like madly in love with your boyfriend for some reason or anything because maybe he did something that she just kind of like <gasps> you know like you don't know maybe she didn't do it intentionally like to really hurt you although she should have respected it but sometimes girls and i think this goes for everyone when feelings get involved sometimes it's really hard to make decisions that really are good so we just have to stay strong because we're not all a hundred percent strong every single day so we have our weaknesses we have our times where we just you know we give in people give in it's natural we're all human beings it happens but i just hated the fact that she just started hating on so many girls like this one girl she was not even that big she was practically she was like a little smaller than me she was like she was plump but she was not like i mean i'm not huge but she was not that big i mean it's just because she's really skinny but and she was wearing these like these tights with these like combat boots with this like nice little short dress and you know what i personally think it looked nice on her yes it was kind of short you know like maybe it kind of fitted a little tight on the breast area but she feels confident i bet because she well, she was walking like really confident like she looked happy she was wearing her red lipstick she looked fierce and she was just hating on her and it just and she looked back and she didn't say anything because the girl was alone you know like usually when you're alone you kind of like kind of don't want to you know you don't want to get into an argument and i'm just like i felt so bad so i told her i was like yo you can't just do that like that's just that's rude you know like that's just rude that's like someone coming up to you and be like oh my god you're so ugly like you just ruined that girl's day i mean maybe you didn't if she doesn't let that get to her but i know it would get to me you know because i hate that like sometimes i'll take the bus and there'll be a group of girls like putting down this one girl who walks by insulting her outfit and it's just like you're just so rude like take a look at yourself don't be so hateful if you have an opinion i'm not saying you're gonna like everything that someone else like total strangers wear you might like i'm sometimes i think some things are tacky but i don't go ahead and let them know and like ruin their day i don't do that because that's just that's mean it hurts feelings if i want to say something i might tell my friend oh my god look at those socks you know but 
I'm not gonna go ahead and be like, hey, you look stupid. No, I'm <laughs> just, it's not nice. So, it, I, humanity, we we all have our little green monsters. We, not everyone, but like, some of us are greedy. Some of us are kind of per too promiscuous, too free. Um, some of us, oh, sorry, let's see glitter. Um, some of us get too jealous, like, personally, I get too jealous sometimes. Like, if I'm in a relationship, I tend to be pretty possessive because, honestly, I've lost pretty dear people in my life, and it just, it makes me clingy sometimes because I don't want to lose them. Like, I hate losing people. It hurts me so much because it's just, like, sometimes I just feel like I might as well just not love anyone. I love my pets a lot, though. I'm not gonna lie. But, yeah, so just, girls, let's try and get along. Like, I'm not saying you have to like every girl that you meet. Of course, there's gonna be girls that you don't like. But, you don't have to get to that low level or low point where you have to criticize so much. You know? I mean, we're not on Project Runway. We're not over here judging every single day. Like, we're not Michael Kors. I'm Michael Kors, though. <laughs> but we're not, that's not our job. It's not. We should be focusing on our life, on what we want to succeed in, our goals, what we want to do, spread positivity, be chill, be cool. Like, don't, that's just bullying. Bullying sucks. And I know, because when I was in middle school, oh my gosh, yes, I did, like, my boobs <laughs> were pretty small, like, I had A cups in middle school, which is really sad, because all these girls had, like, C cups, like, their boobs were big, and even if they were slightly bigger than me, since they had their boobs, it made their stomach look a tiny bit smaller, like, I wasn't huge, but I would love to be that size right now, because I'm not even that big, but it was, you know, it was big for middle school, um, and so I had, like, a sort of flat chest, and, like, I wasn't super skinny, because most of the girls were, like, thick thin, and so there were two, okay, my name's Patricia, there was another Patricia in the middle school, she was really sassy, she was, I was, I'm shy, like, I was shy, and she was really sassy and sexy, and she, like, had her curves and whatnot, and so, you know, so a lot of people were just like, oh, you know, she was new, so everyone had a crush on her. So it kind of hurt me, because they didn't care if I was standing right in front of them or sitting right behind them, because they knew. You know who's in your class. You know where they sit. I mean, come on. You go there every day. And it just hurt, because they'd be like, oh my god, I have a crush on Patricia. And they'd be like, oh, the fat one? And they're like, no, the pretty one. Or which Patricia, the fat, ugly one, or the pretty one? Like, it's just, is it really that hard? She was taller than me. You couldn't have said the tall one. You couldn't have said her last name. Everyone knew her last name. Or we, I had long hair. She had short hair. Like, is it, you, you, she didn't wear glasses. I wore glasses. Like, really? Really? This is how we, bullying sucks. But we all go through it. Sometimes, it just, it sucks. It really makes people feel really low about themselves. And at that age, like, when you're in middle school, like, if you're in middle school right now, you pretty much think that you're, like, top dog. You think that you're old enough, and you're, like, all, you know, you have your little attitude. Because I know I felt kind of grown when I was in middle school, because I just got out of elementary school. But, no, you're not. You're, like, a 12-year-old. Like, when I think of middle schoolers, I think of them playing with Barbie dolls and toys and Transformers. So, it's just, like... You guys are so young to be so hateful, you know? Like, when I think of elementary school, I think of purity, because they're all just kids. They're still, they still have recess. But then the media kind of just, like, the media doesn't, doesn't specifically say, well, maybe in some things, but it's just, it's a lot. And I just think girls shouldn't really hate too much on each other. Because some people do have issues. Like, for instance, I did not know this, like, I've played lacrosse, I've played sports, I love sports, I love to run, I did cheerleading, I'm flexible, I can dance, I do so much, but the weight stayed, 
and I was always curious because I was just like, there was there came to a point where I just didn't want to eat, and bullying sucks, but I didn't know why until recently when I went to the doctor there and I was diagnosed with um, polycystic ovarian disorder, which means. And, my, and on top of that, my hormones are really, really messed up. And I have like, um, like some other stuff that I don't want to, like, not like bad stuff, but like, um, they thought that I had like ovarian cancer or something. So it's like, slim chance, but whatever. But it's all like, I'm, I'm just happy. Like, I don't want to live like, I'm going to die or something. I'm just a happy person. But since then, the doctor explained, okay, your hormones are imbalanced. That means you're going to grow a lot more hair than some girls, which explains why I have to shave my legs all the time. Yes, this is kind of gross, but I mean, let me be truthful. And why you're, like, you know, you can't really go off, like, your weight is kind of, like, you really can't lose weight that easy. And I was like, dang. And I felt so bad because, like, I, I was a skinny child. And, like, I did so much, like... I love running. It's not that I'm not athletic. It's not that I sit here and eat all day. It's not that. It's just some girls are sick. Like you can't just go around making everyone feel bad. Like some girls are skinny because they're sick. Some girls are big because they're sick. And some just like to eat. But let them be happy. Let's just let them be happy. Yes, they should be healthy. That's why. You know what? I'm big, but I don't have high cholesterol. I don't have diabetes. I don't have anything bad. I'm actually I have a clean bill of health because I do eat my veggies. It's just that one problem. Some people don't eat healthy. Like, even skinny people don't eat healthy, but they're still skinny because they have a fast metabolism. I just think, you know, like, just don't make people feel bad. I'm over here going into, like, nu nutrition facts. Like, why am I doing this? Let me go back to what I was talking about originally. Just don't make anyone feel bad. Plus, I told her, I was like, if you feel so sore about this, why are you still with your boyfriend? Because I love him. And I was like, oh, okay, well, I mean, you know what? If you're going to stay with him, you might as well get over it. Yes, I'm not going to lie. You, I've been cheated on before. Like, it's not an easy thing to get over. It bothers you because somewhere deep inside, you just feel like, wow, that girl was way better than me in order for her to get with him or whatever. And obviously, I wasn't good enough for him to, like, stay faithful to. That's how a girl feels. And yes, I completely understood her on that level. And I told you that. But it's not worth having hate on that all these people maybe you can turn that anger onto him and ask him what the hell was going on in your head when you did that you know because it's not really what you know it's not the girl's fault completely you can't really hate like he was the one who went through with it doesn't that you know give him some points off Anyways, just saying, let's be positive. Let's help, e let's help each other out. So, like, let's not be so hateful. You know, it's, I mean, it's not going to stop. Like, you can have your opinion. You can hate behind closed doors, but I don't think you have to make someone feel bad in the process of giving your opinion. So, just saying, be more polite in the way you share your opinion. That's what I meant. Anyways, um, comment down below if you've ever been bullied, and if you want to, you can share what it was about. Um, you can also comment on suggestions on topics that you would like me to give an opinion about, or talk to you about, or talk to anything about, and I would love to see, hear from it. Um, on that, oh, you're kind of better by the time she says it. Okay. So everybody have a beautiful day, stay positive, stay happy, don't let anyone put you down because even if you start feeling down, just always remember, you know what, I love myself, I have goals, I'm not going to do the same thing that that person is doing to me because it does feel bad, I'm going to be a better person and I'm just going to, you know, go on with my life because in the end, that person isn't going to do anything for you. The person who bullies you is not going to pay your bills in the future. They're not going to, you know, they're, they're not going to do that. So, move on.
move on because if you stay in the past, you really won't go anywhere. Anyways, alright. <laughs> Bye, you guys. I think all of you guys are beautiful, and you know what? I think I'll send you hugs and kisses and a wink. <laughs> all right. Bye. And that's a, that's a little. Okay. So, bye.